I was Heinrich Hertz, experimental physicist, born in Hamburg, Germany, on February 22, 1857. I died on January 1, 1894. It was I who, following Maxwell's theories, proved the existence of electric waves and consequently the electromagnetic spectrum. So früh, so ein junger Mann, ich weiß nicht warum er so früh gestorben ist. Okay, folks, step right up, step right up, pick the winner. Step right up, pick a winner, come over here, okay, step right up, pick a winner, pick a winner, step right up, okay, come over here, folks, folks, come over here, step right up, pick a winner, just pick a winner, pick a winner, keep your eyes on the cards. Sorry that uh, today Henrik Hertz cannot uh, be with us uh, at the Vatican City Laboratory of uh, Art and Science uh, to celebrate the Hertz and Spark uh, through radio, to celebrate the 100 years of uh, the electromagnetic waves that has uh, changed our electronic living. We will try to do an experiment to see if it is possible to transform the dematerialized image of the serpent in materializing realities through the artificial intelligence of the today life. Hello, hello, are you ready to receive the serpent of Plexus? had predicted that electromagnetism behaves in a curvilinear way. Von Helmholtz's studies of the human nervous system had shown that the human nervous system behaves in a logarithmic, a nonlinear manner, and therefore it was natural for Heinrich Hertz, as a student of von Helmholtz, to be free from the bias and the bounds of linear thinking. Consequently, we can see then why it was Hertz who was able to demonstrate that the nonlinear equations of Maxwell's were, in fact, the appropriate approach to understanding of electromagnetism. This then raises the question, how can we model human intelligence, and what is the appropriate mechanism or paradigm for human intelligence. It's then reasonable to conclude that we must make a model of intelligence which is nonlinear. After all, Helmholtz's equations or Helmholtz's studies had shown that the nervous system's behavior is in general nonlinear, and so our models of thought like 
Heinrich Hertz's model and Maxwell's model of electromagnetism ought to be curvilinear and not linear. When we succeed in breaking our concept of intelligence away from the linear models, which are convenient but not very accurate, then we'll have a reasonable expectation for making a reasonable model of human intelligence. For making a reasonable model of human intelligence.